In this video, I'm going to be turning an image into a STL file. So I'm going to start by opening it uh, with GIMP. And it's quite small and quite blurry, so first thing to do is new, let's say uh, 1080 or 1920 by 1080. There we go. Now I'm just going to copy visible. I'm going to go down here, paste as a new layer. Then I'm going to scale this guy up. Make him nice and big. Scale. Now, as you can see, he doesn't look all that sharp. I'm going to go to color, curves, and then if we just match these, there he is. But now, if it's a bit rough around the edges or still a little bit pixelated, if we go over here to filters, to blur, and we'll just give it a nice blur until the edges look smooth, somewhat smooth. Uh, let's go right about there. And then if we go back to colors and do that again, we should end up with a smoother outer edge. This is a trick I learned from Taryn in one of his videos, I think. Gives a much straighter edge. And now we're just going to export. Let's um, keep the highest quality, so let's export as PNG. Let's call it untitled. Export. Now, if we go over here to Inkscape, Import, Untitled, OK. There we have our image. Now go up here to Path, Trace Bitmap. We could play with the settings, update, but for just a basic black and white image, the default settings are pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this. Now this first one we pull off should be the bitmap, so I'm just going to delete the second one. Now, if we go up here, we should be able to save as, SVG, save. Okay, now if we go to Fusion 360, we should be able to insert SVG, select from computer, drawing one, open, pick a surface we want to work on, move him where we want him, hit OK, And there, now we have a file that we can 3D print. Save mesh as, and save. So now we could easily put that in a slicing software and 3D print it. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped.